I'm back with another video. Today we have woman is going viral for saying this on podcast. I knew my husband was a simp when he accepted the fact that I had three kids. She just embarrassed you. You are embarrassing yourself. You embarrassed yourself. Hell, you supposed to be the leader. You lead her to the door. But when you open that door, there lies a can of worms. She going to do what you allow her to. This is crazy. It's on both screens. Let's get straight into the video. A lot if we really feel it. It's the ones we don't like. We make them do it all. So you ain't like your husband. Uh, one more time me and she's sitting up here laughing at you a lot if we really feel it it's the ones we don't like we make them do it all so you ain't like your husband <laughs> i ain't trying to embarrass my husband even more on the internet but he was a simp and i seen the opportunity and i she said she's she's not trying to embarrass you even more so she already know she know that she's embarrassing you well, I'm saying what, what 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 his qualities was. I mean, for one, he accepted the fact that I have three kids. So you got three kids too. I have three children. And a nigga supposed to come with the bag. They supposed to come. And that's that's why you have to have a bag. Yeah. Like you got to take care so of me I'm and saying, my kids. So, so why you automatically get these responsibilities? Yes. Stop playing. I'm not playing. And how many niggas doing this? I have between two or three. I'm saying, how many have you ran into in life? That's okay, so let's say I run into, let's say I run into 100 dudes. Probably about four of them. Yeah, they're about the odds. Mm -hmm. I fuck about, with that now. Probably about they're four about, of them. They're about the odds. All right, all right, mm -hmm. all right. About, I ain't even going to lie. Yeah, that's not, no yeah, no, nah, so, so that kind of sound like you are delusional. You just catching, it's just a sucker born every day. Basically. Yeah, because you, you know what I'm saying, a nigga that's, so you ain't never caught no nigga that's worth worth something doing that though. Am I kidding? I probably have one. See, the way this game work is, you have to get with a man who ain't used to dating bad. You have to get with a man who ain't used to dating bad. What you was finna say, you bitches? <sighs> to each his own. To me, you're not a bad bitch. To me. You're a five at best. You want to know what a five is? Scale one to ten. A five is in the middle. You're not appealing, but you're not ugly. It's nothing special about you. We'll walk past your ass in Walmart or Kroger's while you're in a deli section getting some lunch meat. You don't matter. Your posture terrible. You, you swagless as well. So a five is a default skin. Use a default skin. You're not a bad bitch. you just a bitch. A default bitch. They're going to do what you allow them to. To the bum-ass Caillou that's taking care of a whole nother nigga's three kids. Let me break this down to you, bucko. A archetype had this default skin. Bitch bent over in all kind of submissive animations. You know how niggas he is disrespectful. Freak, freaky ass nigga, 69, got freaky as hell. He didn't spit on his dick and he didn't start fucking her throat. He put it in every hole she has and every hole she don't have. Slap, she took it out and put it in, he slapped it on her tongue. He he spit in her mouth, he choked her, he DDT'd her ass. If he like me, he RKO'd her ass. <laughs> Get the visual, no facial. He did everything to her multiple times, countless amount of times. And she swallowed his miniature Cayuse as well. And here you go. Dun, da, 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 Superman with no powers. Captain Save a default bitch. You licking his remains off her lips. You you tongue kissing her and everything. Use a L. 
you y'all all is in a fucking bunch y'all like some pokemon y'all like some pokemon without the ball meaning you're out of control you need to get back in pocket my bitch ain't getting out of pocket i see why you passport bros but the you go overseas to see what's over. You can't score no points at home. So you a loser at home and you a loser overseas. You should have just took your ass overseas. That's what you settled for. You got to be ugly as shit. You, got, you have to have low self-esteem. Insecurities. It come a point of time where things are unutterable for it exists as an entity in lanes which transcends all material words or symbols. It's not the matter if I don't have enough words in my lexica. I have an extensive lexica of vocabulary. I'm a linguist. But some shit, I just got to throw up gang signs. I got to start. It's no words for you. Like I'm. At first, I thought you guys were stupid. I'm right, but now I've learned you guys are impressively stupid. You're stupider than what I thought. Reverting back to what I was stating earlier. Get the visual, no facials. What he did to her, she called the facial as well. And you come along, he cream pad your bitch. His DNA still lingering in her. She took on some of his tendencies, propensities, and that shit deep. I see it. Damn, but scientists and all that disclose, and now I've seen it. I see it. One from don't fuck with black and males at all, but the guy do it now. She find her. I, I see it. Mind get your sharingan. I see it. So, to all you bum ass Caillous that that swoop around like again, I have no words for you at this point. You're just impressively stupid to me. You are embarrassing yourself. You just embarrassed yourself. Never could be me. Especially her. If she was finna say she a bad bitch, you ain't no bad bitch. You eating your rice and cab, bitch. That don't mean nothing. You are a default skin. You're a five at best. To me, you're a four. You got the Timu in. The, the, the wig. The weave or whatever the... I don't give a fuck if it's weave or wig. It ain't yours. Since they, it's not yours. I don't fuck with that. If I can't grab your not too long hair, why I'm... I don't want it. Get away from me. I don't want it at all. On top of that, you got the eyelashes. Bitch, my eyelashes longer than yours. People swear to God, I got, I, why the fuck would I have some eyelashes? I don't fuck with that. The, the combo, the actual Timu, wig, a weave, and the eyelashes, you just automatically fit within the stereotypical archetype. And it disgusts me as beneath me. Peasant, foolish one, get away from me. That's how I feel. I would never understand this, but oh well, I would never understand this shit. Therefore, I stand under it rightfully so. I'm too dope and amazing of a person, an entity, a God, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not just saying that because I'm me. Everybody would like to think they're special. I'm not like you, Caillou. I can look outside myself. I can look behind me right now, looking directly here. What's that? Bird eyes view. I got, I got some shit. I can look outside myself with no bias. I know how I've grown up. Up to this point, it's not like everybody else's story. In fact, it's quite different. Solitary archives. I got a lot of time of self-assessing. Introspection. Looking in the mirror and seeing what's reflecting. It was shit I had that was innate. I know where the fuck it came from. I spawned here with baggage. Inherited. Not just epigenetics. It's spiritual, energetic baggage or whatever the fuck. 
And it was just... I, I'm saying all this to say I'm painting a picture. Everything I've been subjected to, even... It's all involuntarily. I had to undergo neuroplasticity. <clears throat> I had to make new neural pathway connections. I had to change the way I think. You know how many times I've been fucked up and caught myself stewing on negativity and my dick literally getting hard of wanting to get revenge or do you in? You know when you sitting there and daydreaming and you daydreaming about something you want to happen, but what I wanted to happen was negativity. It was and I caught myself, you know how many times I done fucked up and reverted back to that? I done fucked up so many times, fucked up is fucked up. And I overcame all that. I don't think that way or none of that. And if a pop-up tab do pop up, I swipe left. I swear to God, it's like the computer. Epigenetic trauma. Even fears I had. I went and programmed early on, not that I know of, of being scared of heights. But for a long time, I was scared of where did that come from? Where did the fear of large bodies of water come from i mean i overcame so much it's crazy that and you're not afforded this time to undergo the, the rewrite your dna with the lifestyle and your words and the corresponding feeling putting forth the effort because you bombarded with so many external distractions and things you must do and attend to like bills or what the world said you should have and if you don't have that you ain't shit Somehow I still was afforded the time. <clears throat> Not that I was afforded it, I just... My whole life I just managed to just slip through the cracks and... It's like it was something always got in me. Being across... Pretty much a compass, north, south, east, west. Like an internal compass. Even when I literally got lost, I always made my way back home. I know I'm everywhere here, but... You're born with all this, you notice, and then you correct it. Most people ain't correct none of it. They ain't conquer the battles with them because they distracted with whatever else pleasures. They can't be alone. They don't. They will go crazy if they're alone. If they spent the time I spent alone. So I did all this, right? Now I'm headed to where I'm headed. My hero's journey, right? To acquire it being what you deem a high value meal. And these bitches so fucked up in the United States. All that shit, I corrected so much effort. Again, I told you I done fucked up so many times. Had to start over, start over. Like. And to get to this point, and then you got to settle all what you've been through. All your pain, sorrows, trials, tribulations, errors, tears, blood, sweat. Your dreams and aspirations of where you want to be. And then you're supposed to put all that metaphorically in a book and hand it to a bitch that's been bent over by all kinds of... Archetypes been put in all kind of submissive animations because she had a whole phase, right? You're giving your value up front. Shout out to Myron. I like the way he verbalized it. You're giving your value up front. I have to earn that. Even though I have other value too, I have perceived value. She, I can do that. Mono e mono. If you know, you know, but. Earth gave you the beauty. Mother gave you the nature. And Father, time took away what she gave you. You cannot change it. All you could do is change. By the time you try to change, it's too late. When you're dealing with me, I know thyself. I know my power. I know my power to the degree. I feel like my power is way bigger than I can ever even imagine or articulate. Coming from this and then becoming a high-value male, right? And I'm supposed to give all this to one bitch that don't even have her purity intact at that. No diamond, no diamond. That shit is insane, bro. Me media didn't lie to you, Medea. Greek goddess, they didn't lie to your ass and you bought into it. I've accepted the fact that I'm going to be Fox Motor rolling out this bitch with Dana Scully. I'm fine with that. I grew up on the X-Files. I've seen every episode multiple times. It's just amazing. To know that you come from this and then you get to this point and then you must to give it all to one bitch that's used she got a fat ass though that fat ass is used Peros, that's how i look at it i'm not like you 
I'm disgusted. I'm appalled. At that point, I'm a... I'm disgusted, bro. They disclosed that the aliens live in the ocean. Let me go with y'all. I want to be among friends. I don't want to be here stuck with worried about shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't know how to give a fuck. Celibacy. Abstinent. I don't know how to care. I just don't. But at the same time, we forced to care about because the collective, as a collective, agree with it. So the exception to the rule that fall below the waistline, it doesn't matter. I want to go to the ice walls, behind the ice walls, and I want to just immerse myself in a whole new world. I'm sick of you humans. I'm disgusted. I'm appalled. I'm embarrassed and I'm ashamed. Again, you... You was about to say you a bad bitch or a bad woman, whatever. You're not a bad bitch. You're average at best. I don't care about that fat ass you sitting on. That fat ass you sitting on is used. And don't let me get into hygiene. Most of you motherfuckers hygiene's ain't up to par. And the dude is a dirty ass nigga too, so he don't say nothing about it. He think this how it's supposed to smell. It's a cesspool of some nasty shit going on in the United States of America. I ain't mean for this video to be this long. What's trending? GTA 6. I look forward to it. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> That's it for this video. Mayate. And don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. <clears throat> right, what's wrong with my voice? Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Before we start rumbling. <laughs> I kick your ass and you end up twitching. I'm not orthodox or southpaw. I'm both. I'm just as comfortable on both sides. I will kick your ass with just my legs. That's it for this video. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. I'm out.